<laughs> You're going to be sick of me by the end of today, I can guarantee that one. <laughs> Beauty Little Tigger Box. From Newplay, today we're operating between here and Arley in that direction, and here and Beauty South in that direction. Beauty South is interesting because if you just look down there, you can see it. Yeah. We can almost wave for each other. <laughs> and occasionally we might even go and have a chat. But hopefully not. We've got two methods of operation go on in here. The first is between here and Arley, which is operated by this instrument behind us here. And that's known as the electric train token. And that's the one people see most often, because that's most visible, because that's controlled by these tokens. This instrument is connected to an identical one at Arley, and they're joined in such a way that no matter what we do, we can only get one of those out at a time. Mm -hmm. And we give that to the driver, and the driver knows I'm the only person that's allowed to be on this piece of track. Mm -hmm. And so, very simple, very safe. Um, and that's the system that's used all the way between here and Bridge North. Mm -hmm. So you go back to some more ones? Yep, yep. 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 As, as you can see, we've got, we've got several tokens in, in this machine. So we send several trains that way, one at a time. Yes. And then they can send several trains this way, obviously, one at a time. Um, does it have to clear the whole section? Yes. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. When we take that token out, it does actually enable us to pull the signal so that the driver can go that way. We can't pull that signal at the moment because um, we haven't got a token out. Same, same with Arley. So is, is that your full complement there? Um, yeah. These machines will hold up to 40. Okay. We've got it's probably about 20 in each, in, in each one. Um, so that's probably, probably about half, mm -hmm. half the number. But they probably, we don't actually know exactly how many there are. Um, other than we always have a, an even number. Because yeah. uh, right. it's one of those simple checks is yeah. some, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. If we can't get, it, can't get one out in the morning, it might be, well, how many have you got? <laughs> well, I've got eight, I've got yeah. seven. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. There might be one out somewhere. Or there's probably one out somewhere. Mm -hmm. So that's between here, here, here and Arley. Between here and Dewey South, that is actually um, a double track line. Yes. We've got the down main runs through platform two, we've got the up main run, run, running through platform one. And that's another system, which is known as absolute block, which is operated through these instruments here. In simple terms, We'll ask Beauty South, can we send the train to you? Normally on the up main. And if he's in agreement that yes, it's clear and safe to do that, he'll move his instrument to say that the line's clear. Mm -hmm. And that will allow us all the signals for him to go on, on to that piece of line. Similarly, in the opposite direction, he'd ask, can I put the train onto the down main line? If it's clear and we're happy for him to do that, we'll move the instrument to say that the, the line's clear, which would allow him to pull the signals on, on, on to that line. That's a very common system yeah. on, on double track main lines. Um, has been in use for, for a long, long time. So the wires have to be very... Um, well, sometimes they'll tell you, oh, no. They used to be on, yes, they'd be yes, um, yes. 
and, and, as all buried now. Yeah. Unfortunately, they get bit nicked. So it's so it's something that is um, even disappeared from like place, places like this. Yeah. Uh, if you go to the Kidderminster, there's a demonstration signal box being built over by the the, the museum. And, and last week I noticed they were cabling up the uh, a couple of telegraph poles, oh. which I thought ah oh, that's quite interesting because that is something I say it's it's, it's even disappeared from mm -hmm. from. Uh, from here. You use the traditional bell cards. Like yes. One, is it one to call attention? One to call attention. I know that bit. <laughs> I don't know what's more. But... Yeah. <laughs> Typically, uh, class B uh, passenger train will be 3 1. Um, class A passenger train is a 4. Um, it's interesting. We, you know, we'll both go around signal boxes in other railways and Pretty much, they'll, they'll be using the same codes, yeah. uh, as are mostly based on a Great Western 1950s rule book, yeah. um, which is based on the 1930s. Yeah, it is. Um, um, there's been a couple of editions, but, but generally, they're still the, uh, the same ones as were in use 100 plus years ago. The structure you're standing again um, is pretty much original. Dates from about 1880. Um, this signal box having opened in the 1870s. Um, this might be the original infrastructure. It might be a, a, a replacement just off the lat. No, nobody seems to know. The lever frame um, dates from 1906. And again, is uh, Great Western. Um, the point here is. It's all quite old. So that's been here. That's, that's been here. Nice yeah. Um, and it's all pre preservation here. Yeah. Yeah. So you never got this map or the notice when you're all the time? No. Oh, so oh. The lines are up until the mid 60s, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. The clever bit, unfortunately, we don't, don't see the clever bit. The clever bit is underneath here. And that's called the locking frame. And what the locking frame does is it stops us from doing something that's dangerous. Um, if you want to pull a signal, the locking frame ensures the points are correctly set. Um, so the locking frame, yeah. Red ones are signals, black ones are points, blue ones are point locks. We've got a train going over a diverging point. Are you done? Okay, I've got to know what's the white one and the yellow one. Okay. White one's nothing, that's disconnected. <laughs> it's a spare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a spare. Um, the other one's a distant signal. Okay. Here, they're clear of the line now, the way to Okay. Various bits of instrumentation on, on the top. Um, the absolute block we talked about. We have some signal repeaters. Hello, honey. Yes. Okay. Signal repeaters just um, are for signals yeah. we can't see. We are. Moving on. Moving on. Yes. Moving on. Not 
Martin. Did you, what, as a volunteer, did you have a background in this to start with, or did you have to learn it all from scratch? I've learned it all from scratch. Yeah. How, how long did that take? Well, you, you start with a theory course on yeah. electric train token. We always yeah. start on electric train token. Uh -huh. And in my day, that's eight weeks. Um, the chapter taught me is that I can teach my granny how to do this in an afternoon, normal operation. The other seven and a half weeks is learning what to do when something goes wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, so so the, the normal operation is, 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 is easy. It's, it's, it's the uh, how, how to work around things. Um, so that's electric train token. Um, you then start learning one of the simple boxes. So I started at High Lake. Mm -hmm. Then typically you'll go to Bridge North, mm -hmm. which is um, still electric train token, but is a bit more complicated. Mm -hmm. it, it's a bit bigger. And then uh, typically you'll come down to either here or Bugley South, mm -hmm. where you've got the addition of the absolute block system, mm -hmm. which is, again is a, is a bit more complicated still. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. And then there is a third system in, in use between Bewley South and Kidderminster yeah. called Acceptance Lever. Oh. Mm. And I'm just at that point, I've just got to, to, to Bewley, so I'm about to learn mm. one of these two single boxes. Okay. But it looks quite physical to move these. There's a knack. Yeah. There's a knack. You're using your ways to. Yeah. Um, some of them are, can, can, can be a bit tricky to, to move, but, but generally it's. Uh, it's how you do it. But it's not like pushing, pushing a button, is it? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, Monday to Friday, I sit down on a computer, shh, 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 type, type in code. One of the things I like here is that computer and science. <laughs>